So hey, yeah, day two with the ZF, cool little camera. Did a really nice little uh, portrait session down in Tokyo last night with the model. Hopefully you've seen that video as well. But today I'm going to be checking out the camera as an action sports photographer, looking at the features such as the 14 frames per second shooting raw. We'll try the 30 frames per second shooting JPEG. I want to try a couple of different video features. I can shoot up to, I think, uh, 120 frames per second at 1080, which, you know, everything I put on YouTube, I put, when I export it, it goes to 1080. So that's actually not too bad. I think I can use it. And yeah, I just want to have a fun session today. We're down at an area close to Skytree. Check out this giant thing here. This is a Tokyo Skytree. Man, this is huge. First time being this close to it, but it should be a lot of fun. I have my friend Corky here. He's a professional parkour tricking athlete. And we're just gonna get check out a couple spots around here, have a little fun with the camera and see how it does as uh, an action sports photographer. Yeah, let's just have some fun. It's a beautiful day today. Nice and warm here in Tokyo. Skytree is crazy huge. I haven't been this close before and it's massive. And yeah, let's just have some fun, okay? Cheers. So I always start my sessions doing quick portraits and that. Helps us both relax, get used to the spot. Helps me look for angles that might be good for the action that I want to shoot later. As you can see here, the auto eye focus on the ZF is working great. All the shots are in focus and right on his eye the whole time. And it's working great for photos and video as well. Got some great shots to start off our day, so it was a lot of fun. Now the action Corky wants to do here is flipping off of these stairs. So I'm just kind of lined up, waiting for him to come through. He comes, auto focus is on him. The all area focus worked there great that time, but he's making a funny face, so we're going to Try again one more time. As he comes through, I have focus again on his back, but this time it goes to the tree. I think the uh, design of his shirt maybe and the tree kind of confusing the camera a little bit when he was coming through with the movement. Not quite sure, but decided to try it again. Did a little test here just to double check it worked, but when we tried the action again, it went to the tree and I noticed that. So I unfocused and refocused, got his face with the auto face detect there and it worked great. It's all in focus and it's good. Since I have a vertical, I want to go for horizontal as well. Just going to wait for him to come through here. The autofocus is on his back. But as he's coming through, it jumps onto the stairs for some reason. But luckily the stairs and his face were aligned. So it all worked out in the end. Got a good shot there. Happy with that. Got lucky. And of course, we got to take some video of this as well. We're shooting at 1080, 120p. I want to get some nice slow motion of this flip here. So let's see how that looked. Autofocus looked like I went through with him the whole time. And now we can slow it down thanks to the 120p and that looks great. And since we did that in one shot, I decided to try one more shot. Just kind of off to the side here, out of focus got him. Coming around nicely, good flip. And as it comes through, you can see here on the, the, the shot we got, nice slow motion. <laughs> Looks good. Great jump quirky. And a quick little athlete check here at the end. And he's happy. So yeah, we're going to move on to site two. Just down the road actually, just kind of across the street. There's this neat little hiroba or like open area here in the right near sky tree. So we decided to shoot here and uh, of course start with some portraits. These white poles were pretty cool. So I just threw them in there. Cool contrast between the poles and his shirt. And again, out of focus on his eye the whole time. No problems with that. Got some great shots. And of course, I wanted to get a couple of video clips as well. So yeah, it turned out great. Out of focus was awesome the whole time. Now from here for the action, I wanted to try the 30 frames per second with the JPEG. So I switched it over and we're doing some tricking now. So pretty complicated movement, it's flying through. The all area autofocus was okay, but for these I switched up to this red box here so I can concentrate on my composition. And yeah, this is a cool shot, great timing, but I can't see his face. So we moved over to the side, tried it again, great. These are all the photos I took just now, <laughs> so many. That's the best one. So that's cool. I like that. You can see his face. And of course we had to try some video as well. And you can see the video autofocus stays on him. Great. It's amazing. Here is the raw clip we got. And thanks for your shooting at 1080, 120p. I can slow it down like crazy. Nice butter smooth slow motion. No issues at all. Great movement by him and it looks great in slow motion. So I'm super happy with that. We tried a couple other things, but uh, nothing really was super cool. So we uh, just left it as it is and headed over to spot three, just down the road again, five minute walk. This kind of weird kindergarten place. It was open to the public. And there's this strange statue thing here that you can see Skytree in. I think it's for tourists to take pictures. But we all try to figure out what we could do on it. And I moved back and used my 85 mil so I could cut out a lot of the garbage around. 
And I made a friend here with his Leica. <laughs> First trick, we got 30 frames per second. And yeah, great, awesome timing on the trick there, easy to do. Moved it down to 14 frames per second again with the RAW, just because I wanted to try it. Obviously not as many to choose from, but we got a good shot here in the end, so quite happy with that. And it's right here. Yeah, it's good. Great, it's just as good as the other one. And we did play around a bit more. I moved around a bit. This is a cool little spin here. And he also did this one-armed thing on here. This is crazy what he's doing. It was so much fun. We got some really cool shots, so I was happy with that. Final athlete check. He seems to be really happy with all the photos and videos, so I'm good. Yeah, that was a ton of fun. Good time out in the street here today with the Nikon ZF, trying to do some action sports stuff. You know, hanging out, trying to do some shots that like I would do any kind of a normal session or whatever with the Nikon ZF today. So a couple things we tried to do. We did some, uh, you know, the ZF has 14 frames per second for RAW, which is pretty good. Some of the movements we were doing today were a little bit too fast for that. But then you drop it down to 30 frames per second with JPEG. If you're an amateur photographer and you're not too worried about shooting in RAW or not, then just drop that down to 30 frames per second and shoot JPEG. And then you kind of have a good idea of the timing. And if JPEG is good for you, then just use that. Edit it on your phone or on your computer and you should be good to go. So it worked out really, really well. Autofocus for the most part was great. It's uh, just as good as my Nikon Z9 with the XP7 in there. And you know, we did some video as well. So we can get um, 120 frames per second. Get some nice slow motion there with some of the movements he was doing. The thing is though there, it goes down to 1080p, which not the worst thing in the world. Most of the stuff I put out onto YouTube, I bring it down to 1080 anyways. Uh, professional wise, maybe it's just not quite there yet, but this isn't really like a professional filming camera anyways. I don't think it's like a nice retro style, cool camera to have out in the street, something you want to carry with you. Yeah, the one thing I really like about this though, the ZF, is that I can change lenses and stuff like that. I can use all the Nikon lenses I have so I can stay in the system and still have like a really cool looking retro camera. That works great for portraits and for action sports, you know. Yeah, I hope that helps with you guys. Anybody thinking about picking this camera up for anything other than porches on that like for street photography or portraits it's great and for action you can get away with it you can do it if you're not really good at timing then yeah use the 30 frames per second in jpeg you know you kind of win some you lose some with that It'd be nice if it was a raw but who knows you know they've been putting out some crazy updates for the z9 and the other z cameras recently so expect some cool updates for firmware with the zf as well in the future i think nikon did a really really good job on this and i've had a ton of fun shooting it and hopefully I can get out and do some more street photography with it as well. And maybe some other shoots during the week. So yeah, cheers. Thanks a lot for checking out the video. Any comments or questions, hit me up down below. Talk to you soon.